Do an E comb, a one inch, and I'm gonna tilt Gaby's head down so that his neckline is straight. I'm just gonna come all the way up in reverse direction. And this is safe because we're leaving a lot of length, guys. We're not affecting the hair follicle by leaving a one inch trim. It's okay to go in reverse direction with your guard combs as long as they're not too short. We just set his neck. That's what we just did. We are gonna scissor it together. We're gonna take that same e-comb and come straight over his visor, right above the ears, and we're barely taking anything, but that's fine. It's even, it's leaving, and setting an even length for us that we will be able to scissor. The only thing left to do with my 10 blade is to just, I like to just take the corner of this out. That's it. The rest we're gonna do with scissor work. I will link a video complete about trimming the pads, the sanitary, um, because it, I didn't feel like putting that in a video. It just, I, it's in so many of my videos, I didn't feel like putting it in. Gently hold his eye back and just using the corner of our 10 blade just to clean out the corner of his eye where it gets build up, that's all. We're just sort of cleaning that up a little tighter than we would with our scissor work. So now we're ready for scissor work. Amy Lee, I am a certified professional pet groomer since 2003. I am also a content creator on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel called Go Groomer, and on that channel, I bring a new voice to the pet grooming industry, one that includes pet owners as a valuable consumer. By sharing my secrets of the pet grooming industry on my YouTube channel, it allows me to give pet owners the opportunity to provide quality care for their beloved pets at home, increasing value to their pets' lives, as well as increasing the bond they share with their pet. It's pretty awesome. I'm going to be using three shears today to do my scissor work. We're gonna start with my Jody Murphy outliner, and I'm just gonna outline and take out some of this around, around his eye. If you're not safe with this, guys, you can do it all with that 10 blade. If that, if that doesn't, you know, you're not comfortable. Good job. And we're just, this is just gonna help to make those little eyes pop. I'm gonna set the outline of his head. I'm gonna comb everything forward. I'm gonna use my eight inch curved shears made by Kenchi. These are the Sapphire. They're wonderful. And just coming in straight. Don't tilt your scissors back straight and we're just setting his visor. Now I'm going to, now he has a bit of a drop coat, you know, it's not, he technically doesn't have a scissor coat. So I'm just gonna go over the top, above the ears, in almost a dome shape. And I'm just setting the length Scissoring what we have already set with our guard comb when we use that number one inch guard comb. Tilting his head straight towards me. I'm gonna come right down into the neck and into the shoulder to blend all that together. Holding the ear out of the way gently, I can see what I have to tidy up here. You're a wonderful guy, Mr. Gaby. Same thing here. Notice I'm not moving my wrist when I scissor. I'm moving my arm and my body around the dog. Coming up here at his little dip area, we're just gonna blend all this together. And now I can see too where there's areas that my guard comb missed, which is typical. And we'll just tidy all that up.
under here. We've already kind of set that with our guard comb. I am just going to kind of angle this little beard around so he looks like he's a bit happier because <laughs> he is happy. All right, so we're setting the outline. We're going to come on around here and up and lay in our scissor work right back into the ear, blending that together. We're just setting the outline. Good boy. And because he has a drop coat, it actually is a little easier to scissor at times because when it lays, it's, it's going to kind of blend together. Good job. We're following that jaw line and then leaving hair to fill in where we need to. All right, it looks, looks even. That's what we're after. <laughs> Let's comb everything up and towards the front. Take a look here. We're setting the outline. We're going to come in with chunker shears and soften everything up. Good, honey. You want to kind of comb everything up and out and the way it's going to naturally lay. I am going to trim right here very carefully. Okay, you don't have to do that, guys. <laughs> I do. And now I'm using these Kenji Love 17 tooth chunker blending shears. Just taking the tips of anything off that might have left a little harsh look for my scissor work. This is the easiest way to soften your whole look is these blending shears. They're $99. On this coat, they really, really just set you up for complete perfection when it comes to scissor work. You could do all of the work with your blending shears instead of using a straight or a curved. I just like to set the outline with a straight or a curved. It's just a little bit more finalized and aggressive. Tipping that little nose up. I'm going to blend all that together. Good job, baby. We're going to be shortening these ears in a second. And you want a round shape. That's what we're looking for. I'm going to take this in. It sticks out a bit over his beard and it makes him look less happy. So I'm bringing that in a little bit. It's okay, baby. Good job. Good boy, Gaby. Good boy. Okay. We don't want to take it too tight. We want him to look a little bouncy. I'm going to roll his ear up over my finger and just kind of tidy this up here. Anything that pops up, I'm going to tidy it up. Rolling my shears back as I'm moving up towards the top knot. Blending all that in. I have a firm grip on his nose so that I can predict his movements. If he was going to do anything, I'd be able to predict that because we want to keep them safe. Scissors are sharp, guys. You can just see the magic that these blending shears produce. We blended down into the chest, so that's all looking good. And then we can continue to use those blending shears to smooth anything down.
we already set our shape with our clipper work, remember? The last thing we're going to do is shorten his ears. So we're going to comb everything down and with him looking straight ahead, I'm going to take, first you want to find your ear leather of your dog guys and you can do that simply by running your thumb down. I can feel his ear leather is right here. All this is hair. It's important to know that. And we're going to shorten his ears up close to the length of his muzzle. So we're going to set that. We're going to come in with our curves. And set that length. And you got to kind of look at it from all angles. I have a good video on ears, feet, and tail. I'll link it for you guys in the description and in the card. I'm going to come straight across and make a notch so I know they're going to be even. Have him looking straight and we're just going around with our curb shear. Good job, honey. Take a look at it from all angles. Look at him straight on. Oh my gosh, he's a cutie, isn't he? So, looking at him straight on. And we can see. 